popular video for me a couple of months ago was the wash vehicle of the uh, black sapphire BMW Z4 M Coupe. I was mic'd up and just washing the car talking you through some of the processes. Today is Saturday 21st of July. Tomorrow is Wax Start 22nd of July at the Rico Arena Coventry. So with the aid of a GoPro again we're going to try and replicate uh, the video from the B&W on the Jag. So what do we have? 60 plate Polaris white, which is flat white, Jag XKR. Recently had the wheels refurbished. They're actually a stunning finish under there. Just uh, these aren't yet protected either. So they were too fresh from being refurbished for me to put the protection on. Perhaps it might be something I do in the future. And otherwise the car, to be honest, it isn't that dirty. I suppose it is, it's just white and it doesn't show it. There's all the, there's surface dusting. There's a lot of your bugs, your splats. And I say tomorrow the vehicle will be at wax stock. Uh, so it just wants to have a nice once over, get the pipes all sorted again, glass inside and out, do the door shuts, that sort of stuff. As you can see today, it's a pretty warm one with no shade because I'm late in the day, it's lunchtime. But we do have use of the uh, water filter from Racelays, but not yet connected because we're going to start with the wheels. All right, starting with the wheels, all four corners rinsed off. I say these wheels have just been refurbished, so there's little um, refurbished and no ceramic protection or wheel protection applied at this time. But of course, they're not that ingrained. This is just a citrus APC degreaser, um, which I'd recommend and recommend to customers who pick cars up with the wheels freshly protected because INX and wheel cleaners that actually bleed and dissolve contamination. They're a bit much, they're a bit overkill with the protection in place. So wheels that are protected, again, something similar that's just a mild, even a car body shampoo. If you've got your two buckets set up for the wash and you've got a third bucket for the wheels, you can perhaps just get away with using your shampoo in the bucket and maybe even setting up a spritz bottle with the shampoo in for the wheel cleaning as opposed to fully dedicated stronger wheel cleaners. I just realized I should have gloves on for this. It's a bit late now. What we have, this is the detail factory brush. So let me use this on the lug nuts in the front face of the wheel. There is the either detail brush, which I use for behind the caliper. 
this is a bit tight down there and then this is the other wheel brush EZ wheel brush for behind the spokes this little muff is a, a Duca Duca detailing wheel woolly wheel woolly wheel muff which is ideal for the sides of the spokes if you've got gloss black wheels I've just finished an M3 with it's the competition packs it's got the competition wheels which are gloss black in certain places you want to be using something like this as a safe wash medium as opposed to brushes because it just gloss black and scratch so easily so rinse the wheel as thoroughly as possible with the dirtiest area on the car remove remove the surface contamination and the loose material and then using something like the mitt on the sides of the spokes and the detail factory brush for the load nuts in the front face of the wheel If you were looking for a more devoted, dedicated wheel cleaner and something like built Hamber Auto Wheel is a good go-to, which is a safe iron remover and does a very nice job. If you're interested in the kit and the products that I'm mentioning here, then in the video description down below will be hopefully a list of all the items I've spoken of. With a discount code with Clean and Shiny online detail and supplies um, for 10% off. Can't get the mitt behind them spokes because of the caliper clearance. Just give it a quick finger, so to speak. Okay, wheels complete. Switch out now to the water filter before we hit the bodywork. In the beauty of this filter, the race glaze 14 litre, I've just changed to resin recently, is you can use it with a pressure washer. Some of the other filters, uh, you can't, you can't use the pressure washer, you've got to use it as an end. You've got to use it as a final rinse aid without the pressure washer so you're reliant on washing the vehicle with normal water and using the filter at the end. So what has the car had so far? Uh, I've done some very quick machine polish and a single stage polish on the bonnet to test some ceramic coating, uh, a single stage ceramic coating application which I'm testing. And then the rest of the car has had a full decontamination, it's been clay barred, detarred and a quick application of Carbon Collective's Speciale Detailer, which I'm hoping to reapply uh, to all surfaces today. Right, wheels done, all four corners. We're gonna go on to very quick rinse of the door shuts. I do like to do is keep a separate microfiber cloth um, handy just for wiping down the edges of the door panels because you do get a little bit of splatter sometimes the car hasn't used that much and hasn't been used a great deal since the full decontamination when the door shuts were done properly this is just a speed A speed wash. And will be wiped down further later on in the drying stage. Good enough for today's exercise. All right, rinsing.
Maybe you can see that on the GoPro footage, but the uh, protection on the bonnet seems to be doing nice. Right. Happily spend five, 10 minutes uh, doing the rinse stage. It's quite important before you make any physical contact or before you even snow foam the car, you want to make sure you've removed the loose damaged material. Um, as I say, it's not wearing other than the bonnet any form of hardy protection yet. And being white, it's showing every single bug spot on the front here. I'm just helping it out with some ceramic uh, citrus degreaser, which is G-Technic W6. And also without the use of the water filter, I certainly won't be attempting to wash the car today, although it is white. It would be uh, a pretty silly thing to try and do. Boot hamber, snow foam, auto foam. I forget what it's called now. Foaming over the top of the APC citrus that was already applied to the front end to give it an extra dwell time and extra kick. Detail factory brush now used for the intricate spot down the panel gap there. Imagine if you've not done the thorough rinse and people look at that dirt. Wow. Oh dear. When people don't rinse the car down before the snow foam and then they go on to do this stage. I can be fairly confident that the most, let's say, majority, most of the loose material has gone. I've rinsed it out of the way. If I didn't do that rinse stage, I'm now um, bringing it all along for the ride of the brush. I need to, of course, and of course, scratching the paint. So I can be fairly confident that uh, I'm just now removing stubborn bits or a film in the intricate spots that is wash mitt really of course to get into down the side of the R underneath the light over the top and there is no better brush than this this is super soft almost too soft to some places it can splay quite a lot there if you want to get in that seam you've got to align it to drop into there you can't just got that because a lot of it's probably not actually using it but the beauty of this car being flat white um, and I've not yet corrected the paint is that was very forgiving so any marks on the paint well, extremely hard to see that car on the other hand pain in the back side things are starting to dry out now Back on the rinse. Rinse my nozzle. Dash, Gion Bathe, clean nozzle. Copper Merino mitt. We on. Two bucket wash, rinse, shampoo. Certainly keeps you on your toes washing on a day like today. And apologies about my legs, by the way. Two bits of string come out the bottom of your shorts. Half the roof, a pillar. This line's always a, a prone area for bug etchings and bug splats to stay stuck. I soaked that area in the APC as well to just give it a, a helping hand under the wiper. Glass, stretch it out a little bit further and rinse. Shampoo. Real in. It's 
leaving the very lower sill till last. Rinse. See, at this point, you can be confident that a lot of the loose stuff again has now left the vehicle or you're lifting now. It still needs to be done. There isn't a, a no contact wash that I can trust yet. Um, this is just a film, maybe bud carcasses to help persuade off the surface, but otherwise it's a traffic film. It's the last thing to take off. Let's take your new registration plate, finishes it off well. When I bought the car, it had a single normal standard size plate on it. It looked extremely lost. So thank you to Fisher Motor Factors. feels nice and slick. Hopefully more information on this test coating as time goes on. A bit of arse for you. Have some of that. Oh sorry. Mic check still recording. Good. Two new emails as well. After the next rinse, I will be tempted just to towel down the top surfaces, although it is filtered water and I'm pretty confident with it because it's just had the, the resin changed. I don't like to see it drying out with suds and stuff. A bit of pressure on the windscreen to help the board splat. I wish all colours were as easy as this to wash. The M Coupe for sale has been washed twice not yet driven in between the washers because it's just unfortunately sat outside and there's a lot of dust in the air a lot of dust a lot of heat occasional rain dust heat rain dust heat rain it's not the best combination i really wish it could be garaged to the top line of the sill any lower than that is going to be done with a separate medium I'm impressed with that so far anyway What I'll do now, rinse my hands, just going to give it a head start with drying with a platinum pluffle, the Rag Company platinum pluffle towel, a hybrid waffle, microfiber drying towel. I'm looking forward to catching the Rag Company guys, Jeff, Levi, Dane, Anthony, that white stuff. Again, this vehicle has not yet had any form of correction. There are swirls, there are defects. When I went to go and pick the car or view the car, the owner was late and back to the appointment. The, the car wasn't there when I arrived. Where was he? He was there with a roadside car wash, having the vehicle washed and valeted, ready for the big reveal. Oh, superb. Got the roadside car wash. But then it's perhaps had seven years of that, so. Not the end of the world. If it was corrected, however, and uh, a deeper shade colour, I would be tempted to try the majority, dry the majority with the vehicle blower and patting the paintwork down as opposed to this that you see. Final rinse of the mitt. And this tatty old thing I'm using is once upon a time, or was once upon a time, a Swiss Fax wash puddle, which is ideal for the dirty out of sight on the chassis. There is. Go on, son. Not forgetting the exhaust tips during a wash. These have been 
previously coated, um, polished and coated. And if you ignore them, wash after wash, they will get caked and carboned up. So it's always worth giving them a wipe over. Almost there. All right, now we are indoors. Um, first thing to do, this is a Rag Company Mink microfiber towel. Uh, I've just saturated this and wrung it out so it was a bit more absorbent, but we didn't do a full job on the door shuts earlier. But to assist and aid the blowdown stage, the vehicle blower, I just used this Mint cloth uh, as a dedicated door jam, boot jam under the bonnet, drying towel, if you will, to get the excess and mop up any little bits left behind. One thing that has happened between now and being outside is the vehicle was, uh, I do three lengths in the car park, usually in most vehicles, my own customer cars, cars that are in for the full week, cars that are just in for a day. I do three lengths in the car park and just dab the brakes. The reason being, if you've been here before, you will know, is to dry the brake discs. Um, if come tomorrow I hadn't have done this, by tomorrow morning when Terry and I set off the wax stock, the discs would be nice and rusty, covered in an orange film of rust. And the first time I hit the brakes, uh, that rust then lifts off the discs, stitch the wheels, I've now got orange wheels, which is fantastic. I don't want that to happen. Customers don't want that to happen. So three lengths in the car pot, just to dry the discs off. Um, but one thing to be conscious of, is before the vehicle comes in, I always rinse the lower port, obviously outdoors today, it's bone dry, there's nothing kicking up off the floor at all. But the lower portions behind the wheels and front of the wheels, side skirts and back end, always have an additional rinse in case there is any contamination that's flown up onto the vehicle and then we can potentially drag that on the paint with the towel. So another final rinse, obviously avoided the wheel, the disc, just to flush it all out. I'm not going on to do any polishing today, so I don't need it absolutely bone dry, but the vehicle blower, I'm just going to use it to eliminate water from the mirrors, get the wheels dry, the vents, areas where it's all built up. So for this portion, I will shut up because you won't be able to hear me. Next up, the car's already wearing one layer, just as a, a something coat. Carbon Collective Speciale Detailer. Um, just, if anything, wick up any watermarks and enhance the clarity. Another bonus of this product, it smells rather nice. And I've been known before a customer collects their personal car after a job to walk around the unit <laughs> and using this product as an air freshener. It smells extremely fresh. A couple of panels at a time applied. This towel I'm using is a Red Company Spectrum. And now, Edel Edgeless. I'm normally wearing my pinny as well, my apron with the pockets. Uh, a buff over the same area. Uh, I'm staying away from the bonnet with 
speciality detail I don't want to interfere with what's on the bonnet in terms of the test ceramic but what I will probably use I don't look too bad is a, a detail spray that hasn't got much in the way of protection so it's not interfering so perhaps something like something like Adams paintwork uh, has been given a wipe down next up glass you can't prep or well I'm not showing the car but I just wanted to be nice it's covered in smears it's covered in GoPro smudges and sticky marks from previous content Gion glass this once upon a time was a car pro I believe car pro glass towel and then in my right pocket a rag company dry me a river I believe two things with glass I know a lot of people hate it uh, you want to use plenty and be speedy you want to use plenty in that so it doesn't dry out and you want to be speedy in that so it doesn't dry out a big smudge and wipe over the area that I've just covered with a cleaning cloth turn the doors on the Jag obviously drop and raise an inch every time you open and close the door so I've got that to tackle as well but speed is key speed and using plenty of product if you're just using a next to dry cloth you're not really one two three four five six seven I think that was seven spritzes for each or for this pane of glass anyway if you're not using enough you're just pushing sort of a dry cloth around a dirty window and you're not picking up the dirt it's drying quicker whereas that a saturated window with a good mop with the dry me river towel should be everything it needs of course one thing you have to watch for as well is temperature and heat um, there will be heat in the panes of glass still from the wash from being outside so don't be tempted to do any more than one pane of glass at a time there's a little bug down there you're frustrating how do I get you out Lovely and sharp, crisp, there's no smears, no smudges going on. I guess if you do find yourself struggling with smears, smudges, um, best thing would be to, well, ensure your drying cloth is actually dry and not damp or dirty. Uh, but to reapply and just go again and maybe work in a smaller area. You can see here I'm doing half the rear glass at a time. I try and avoid spraying directly onto the car especially now the exterior paint has been wiped. I don't want any overspray settling on the paint. So really using plenty of product. And every time I've done a car, these towels uh, are one use towels before they get washed. Also, also, a big shout and thank you to Mr. Chris Cundy at Hatfields Jaguar Sheffield, who's the workshop manager, for sourcing me. This is the interior grab handle on the inside of the boot. It was broken, it was snapped. One of these two, one of these two prongs was snapped off. So Chris has kindly been able to source me a replacement. Hopefully that just flips in. Splendid, Chris. Thank you, sir. No contact from the paint now. Huzzah! Uh, Chris actually came to White Details off the back of the Jags introduction video where I took it for a bit of a drive. And I was after a couple of items and information on the car and Chris stepped forward introduced himself and said happy to help so I was most appreciative 
and you just never know who's watching the videos. There was also a, a Jaguar representative from the States, from America, offering to help out as well. Very kind, guys. One of people's pets hates, I realise, is interior windscreens. Again, have plenty of product. Half the screen at a time. Work swiftly. And the bottom corner. It does sometimes help, I'd imagine, if you were double jointed. Use the back of your hand. Use the front of your hand. A quick once over mop of the majority. Turning the towel. It doesn't help when you're not wearing gloves. Actually, if you're wearing latex gloves or vinyl nitro, um, you are able to, sometimes when you're handy, if, you, if your skin is done to the glass, you're gonna get smudgy and greasy. So it does help to wear gloves, to be honest. Let's get down the bottom corner. If you open the towel up, lay it down and scrunch it into the seam there. It would get tight down. And of course, not forgetting the rear view mirror. One thing that does make a car super stand out, clean glass, black tires. <laughs> One thing I'll be picking up tomorrow at Waxstock actually. Last two years, three years I've been, I've been to buy these devices, this little foam puck really and good for grasping onto uh, and applying tire dressing with i'm sure there's online resellers sell them as well but i end up normally for whatever reason buying three or four at wax stock every year this of course made easier when you are on the ramp of the car because you can get underneath the tire there but i will do it for now into the lip one thing to watch for with tire dressing especially on flat white cars like this is tire sling you get covered tire dressing all the way down the side of the car so this is an old microfiber which i'm just buffing off the excess let's leave a non-shiny matte finish the exhaust really didn't need anything but i've just been over them anyway with auto finesse triple to help any build up that's starting to take uh it's starting to set and remove any water spots and just to generally look shinier yep otherwise the car's looking great a uh, quick wash wipe glass inside out interiors had a quick fessel tires dress exhausts door shuts given a once over no doubt by the time i get to wax stop tomorrow there's going to be and graveyard of bugs in the front. There is also for the eagle eye on you some damage down the lower splitter down there. Previous owners tapped one too many curbs and actually it's cracked in the back. So at some point I will be having this priced up to be painted. Hopefully uh, someone local can tackle that for me. But it is clear to see under the lights that the bonnet stands out better than the rest of the car. This has had a two-stage correction actually. It was microfiber cut as a once over and then uh, refined down before the ceramic test application was applied. So that's it, hi this afternoon now, in the next half an hour I have a Bentley GT Continental being dropped off for a very similar job actually, customs car, local customs car. Uh, and then an early night and uh, get prepped and ready for an early start tomorrow for wax stock. Hope you've enjoyed, be sure to find us on Instagram for behind the scenes updates and more. Take care, and I will see you soon.
2018. Go on then, say a little piece to camera. We're here. Hello, good morning. Welcome to White Details. Today, 22nd of July, the Rico Arena in Coventry. Jim White coming through. White Details. <laughs> Double tree. Let me see. Let's see. Didn't catch any of that. Long day, isn't it? Me too. 